11.3c, add and subtract rational expressions, LCD of polynomials. To find the LCD with polynomials, again we're going to use each unique factor with the highest exponent. This means we must first factor. So in example one, we have two polynomials. We want to factor them. So only one way of factoring x squared. 18, we have a couple of different things, but we're taking the difference here. And factors of 18 that give us 3 are going to be 6 and 3. We want a positive 3, so we're going to make it a positive 6 here and a negative 3. Now let's look at our second one here. Again, we're going to factor only one way of factoring x squared. Factors of 21 that take get, when we take the difference give us 4. Well, factors of 21 is 7 and 3, and that will give us 4. Since we want a positive 4, we're going to give it a, write down a positive 7, and we want a negative 3. So we take each unique factor and that's part of our LCD. So we have 1x to the 6 and x minus 3 and x plus 7. The question frequently arises why don't we have 2x minus 3's? But remember we take the highest exponent. Our exponent here for the x minus 3 is 1. The same thing here. So that means we need just 1 x minus 3. Let's factor our example 2. So we take our first group and only one way of factoring x. This is actually a perfect square trinomial. So we're going to get x minus 5, x minus 5. And then for our second group, only one way of factoring x and we're going to have a negative 5 and a positive 4. Now here because we do have 2 this could also be seen as x minus 5 quantity squared. So what that means for our LCD we would write this as x minus 5 squared times x plus 4 and we have found the LCD for both.